You know, I look at something like Particle Deconstructor, and I just kind of think to myself, how did we get here? Was it some sort of practical joke played by a few sandbox designers? Did somebody lose a bet? Or maybe there was a weapon designer that was just so tired, so fed up at how fusion rifles had been treated that they simply willed their power into the game. That they simply said, it's the fusion rifle's time. And they weren't going to take no for an answer. And Bungie just let them roll with it. For the next six months, Particle Deconstructor is going to be stapled to your class item like a picture of me is stapled to a silver medal. And there's nothing you can do about it. So, we might as well talk about it. Particle Deconstructor can be unlocked in your Seasonal Artifact as early as rank 33.75, almost to rank 34. It costs 7 energy on your class item, and it does the following. Dealing damage to an enemy with a fusion or linear gives bonus damage with a fusion or linear against that target for a short duration, stacking up to 5 times. That duration is about 5 seconds. At 5 stacks, this damage increase comes out to over 40%, 40.26 to be exact. That is higher than last season's Breach and Clear mod. And while it doesn't have any fancy reload effect like Breach did, this works on all targets. Every single one. And there is no waiting like Breach and Clear where you get a damage buff that lasts for 10 seconds and then you need to wait to refresh it or anything like that. You shoot gun, they are debuffed. You shoot again, they are still debuffed, or debuffed even more. Also like Breach and Clear, this is a team-wide debuff. That means only one person needs to be using this mod in order to start debuffing a target, but I suspect that many people will have it stapled to the class item for the season because it works everywhere you go. However, the main caveat is that unlike Breach and Clear, this bonus damage is only for fusions and linear fusions all other weapons receive no bonuses. There are many variations of fusion rifles in the game right now. You have your standard fusions that shoot five, seven, or nine bolts depending on their charge speed. You have linear fusions, you have Telesto, Jotun, Vex Mythoclast, and 1000 Voices. However, if you take one thing away from this video, it's that you can get to five stacks of Particle Deconstructor very, very quickly using non-linear fusions. I'm talking one second or less. Let's look at a fast charging fusion, Null Composure, which fires 9 bolts. While each bolt individually might not be counting exactly correct on the first shot in terms of increasing your damage, it only takes one accurate shot to go from 0 to 5 stacks on a target. A slow charging fusion like Exile's Cursed only fires 5 bolts now, but that definitely doesn't stop it from getting us to full damage in one shot. Essentially, if you fire an accurate shot, hitting most of, if not all of your bolts, you will be at the maximum damage bonus on your next shot. Jotun's Fire Damage Over Time component will give you stacks of the debuff, meaning you can hit max stats in one shot if the enemy stands in your fire for long enough. Similar to Jotun, Telesto's bolts will also apply the debuff, giving you full stacks very, very quickly. 1000 Voices works similarly to Telesto, where the bolts from 1k will trigger the bonus damage, giving you full damage on the explosions, assuming you are accurate, and hit the bolts onto your target first. As far as Vex Mythoclast goes, it's basically one shot equals one stack, and if it's not, it's two shots, but regardless, in five or six shots, you will be at full stacks. Linear fusions will also give you stacks, but as you can imagine, it's a lot slower to stack them because you have to fire them one shot at a time. Now, something that I found interesting upon more internet research and my own testing is that while Breach and Clear didn't really stack with anything debuff-wise, Particle Constructor does, but only if you stack things in really specific ways. This, to me, says that it's probably not working as intended as double stacking debuffs isn't supposed to be a thing anymore, much less having to go in a specific order in order to get them to work. But, for example, if you get to five stacks of Deconstructor and then use something like Shadow Shot, you will get both bonuses. Apparently this works with Tractor Cannon as well, but Divinity was only giving a very small damage bump. I don't want to really dwell on this too much, as I feel like Bungie could patch this at any moment, but in case it doesn't, that is apparently how it's working as of this video. 
Maybe they won't patch it. Look at what happened to Energy Accelerant in Season 14. It was buffing a whole bunch of stuff that it really wasn't supposed to, and I don't know if Bungie even acknowledged it. However, it will still stack with your typical buffs, Weapons of Light, Well of Radiance, and any sort of weapon perk damage bonuses like the Vex Mythoclast damage boost that really needs its own timer, Kill Clip, Rampage, etc, etc. But, a good thing about non-linear fusions is that they don't crit, meaning you probably don't need something like Divinity unless you're all using linear fusion rifles. Certain targets and bosses are able to be crit by fusion rifles though, Kali from Last Wish comes to mind, but these are weird exceptions and definitely not the rule. If you'd like some in-game context as to what this mod actually means for you and your gameplay for the next six months, check out this Tanix kill real quick. We don't need it well anymore. Oh, what happened to you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll wait for the boop. How about this Morgeth kill? Bye, lol. <laughs> oh, there's a bubble there. But yeah. Or maybe even this Templar kill. Oh my god, ow, what the f*** to me? Good lord, 1k. I'm stuck. I got I'm you. I'm glad this gun's good. Thank you. Yep. Welcome to the new meta, everybody. Blow off the dust on that 1,000 voices because it's probably going to be one of your new raid DPS weapons. We'll cover damage tests in another video. Vex Mythoclast is surely to be one of, if not the weapon of the season as well, considering the massive buff it just got, and with Particle Deconstructor basically giving this a permanent 40% damage boost on top of the damage buff that it just got in Season 15 against any target that lives for longer than 5 shots. Fusions are here, everyone. As far as Master and GM content goes, we'll also have Unstoppable Fusion Rifle in play this season, pushing Vex Mythoclast even farther ahead as a primary weapon. 1,000 Voices will stun a champion with the bolts and then will detonate for full damage on said target. However, I think the weapons people end up going with will be on a per-strike basis due to Overload Bow. All exotic elemental damage bows are fantastic in endgame content, and I think this combo is going to make for a very fun GM experience in Season 15. Fusions being one of the top loadouts in the game is definitely getting me interested, and with the potential of Arbalest getting anti-barrier maybe this season, that can open up some more doorways, although Arbalest currently does not work with anti-champion mods at this time. Season rank... 33.75. Get there as soon as possible, and then enjoy. There's another damage combo that you might have heard about as well, and it has nothing to do with fusion rifles or this mod at all. We're going to cover that very soon. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.